hey y'all welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by um look at this oh oh my god this is so big so let me tell y'all i haven't drank soda in like five years and i was like oh you know when i turn 30 i'm gonna have a soda drank a coke from chick-fil-a it was bomb drank another coke from chick-fil-a it was bomb drank another one and now i got a pimple so i'm about to go back to not drinking soda because my face was not breaking out when i wasn't drinking soda and i just don't have time it's 8 45 right now darian is gone bowling per usual um i look a hot mess like, I look a real, real, real hot mess. I'm actually about to take a shower and wash this hair because, honey, I haven't washed it for real. Just some real quick updates for y'all. I got so many videos that I need to film. Before I tell y'all what videos I'm gonna film, or I guess while I'm telling y'all, one video that I'm gonna film is Things About 30. I told y'all I was gonna film that. I'm also going to so the videographer has all the footage for Jamaica. Like I thought it would be on my camera, but it's not. It's not on my camera anymore. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a Jamaica vlog like I initially thought. Um, I got two HR videos coming. I'm also gonna film what I got for my birthday. This is one of my birthday gifts. Darian got me the Canon 80D. This is like a top of the line camera. That's just one of my birthday gifts um y'all saw i had that surprise dinner but i got some really cool stuff from my friends and my family so i'm gonna do a video of what i got for my birthday while i'm in my office and this is so terrible let me just check my email really quick so that's the only oh my god that's the only downside of working from home is I could just be walking by my home office and I'm like, oh, let me check my email real quick. Let me see what came. So yeah, I just had something to respond to. Anyway, um, here go y'all little whiny friends. Say hi, Macy. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> I think he has to use the bathroom, so. Come on. Let's go outside real quick. Y'all, I hate. I hate taking Mace outside at nighttime. Like, nothing that I hate more than taking him out at night. <sighs> Come on. Come on, man. Let it call Darian. So, I just told y'all I hate being at home by myself at night. And I hate taking Mace out. So, of course, I have the alarm on. And I forget that the damn alarm is on. So, it just went off. <sighs> let me let him use the bathroom real quick. And he better make it real quick. Because, child, stressing me out. Okay, so now that this shit is over. Now Darian is blowing my shit up upstairs. He calling me. And he gonna have a whole attitude when I call back, watch. <laughs> okay. Hello? No. Yes. You okay? Yeah. What happened? I forgot that the alarm was on and I had to take Mace out to use the bathroom. And my phone is like dying, so I left it upstairs on the charger. <sighs> What'd I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? He was gonna be on my ass. Y'all, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. Oh, so let me tell y'all about my nail. 
while we're sitting here having these conversations so you guys know i usually have my nails really really long not really long but like kind of long and i like to do like cool designs and unique stuff and go to my nail shop and let my lady do whatever she wants to do so friday me leia and darian were here and i sat on my finger i got i got a kind of a a butt now and I sat on my finger which was like equivalent to me jamming my finger or like really like slamming it in a door because I just sat on it and I broke my long nail off <sighs> so I didn't it was bleeding it was terrible it didn't break like split or nothing the whole nail came off right so I went to the nail shop I, I let it sit for a couple of days I went to the nail shop yesterday, so Monday, got all my, and I had, I just got my nails done like a week ago, got all my long nails soaked off and just got really, really short pink, y'all can see how they look, they cute. So I just got my nails really, really, really short and pink. I don't necessarily love the color, but it's soft pink, so it'll do. Anyway, I didn't get nothing on this finger. I ain't wanting to put no polish on it, nothing. I just let him cut it all the way down. And it still is kind of sore. So I was doing some research and they were saying what to do when that happens. Like, it happens to people when they slam their fingers in the door or like stub your toe or something like that. You're supposed to just soak it in warm water and peroxide so today i stopped at the store and got some peroxide and that's what i'm gonna be doing with my finger until it's not sore anymore i don't want no pilot i don't want nothing on it like it's just gonna have to look ratchet luckily i don't have anywhere major to go but when i do have to go somewhere i'm gonna just put a band-aid on but yeah this is my finger it looks and feels terrible look at it well, it's, you can't really tell, but so yeah, if you see me and it looks like, or, and I don't have any polish on this nail, that's why. Cause I, I just needed to get some air. I, y'all, this, this pimple is just driving me freaking crazy. But yeah, I am about to wash my hair. I, we still haven't given y'all a tour. Like, we still haven't given y'all a house tour. We trash for that. Like, I don't even have no excuse. We trash as hell for that. It's too quiet in here for me, so let me turn the TV on. HGTV? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. A house. A house show. A house show on, so that's good. But yeah, so y'all, I'm about to. I'm about to do my hair. I gotta find somewhere to sit y'all so y'all can kind of see me. Well, I guess it don't much matter. But I need to brush my hair out for real. Cause, <sighs> okay. So let me get y'all the, I know y'all like, girl you always talking. Let me get y'all the backstory on this hair. When y'all see my Jamaica footage or clips on my Instagram, Y'all gonna be like, dang, your hair is long. This is natural Indian hair. This hair blends perfectly with my real hair. When my real hair gets poofy from humidity, this hair gets poofy from humidity. When my real hair waves, this hair waves. When my real hair curls, this hair curls. And my real hair is relatively long. Well, y'all can see it go right here. So yeah, I haven't washed it in a while. I'm about to wash it tonight. Although I love this hair, I hate this install. Y'all know how much hair I have. I have a whole lot of hair. I have a whole lot of thick hair. And the lady who did my hair probably put 12 braids in my head. And I'm used to getting, when I, and that was my first time going to her, but when I get an install, I usually get two beehives because my hair is that thick. Or I get like one big beehive that's full of small braids so 
obviously this stylist does sewings like this so you can come back to her more frequently but i won't be going back to her at all because she was not personable at all she was not friendly at all and i just didn't have a good experience but it was for my birthday i got it done for the trip like a couple of days before the trip and it was relatively expensive so learn from your mistakes and i gotta deal with it but yeah let me just y'all look at this <laughs> let me just brush this thing on here out and i have shorts on y'all so So yeah, this hair is really natural. It's not low maintenance. It's just like maintaining your real hair. So if you want just some get up and go hair, this ain't it. Unless you like that natural look like I do. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to wash my hair. Take a shower, wash my hair. When I have sew-ins, I only wash my hair in the shower because I don't have a professional sink and I don't want to dip my hair over show y'all what i use because i know somebody gonna ask for my real hair i'm in the shower <laughs> for my real hair and my weaves this is what i use aussie i cannot get oh my god i'm also gonna do a mask or something because this has got to go oh my god i'm about to pop this so yeah i'll see y'all when i get off the shower okay y'all so i just got the shower and I wash my hair. I also popped this bump because, uh, yeah, it was white and ready to be popped. Sorry, the TV loud. I'm at home and I'm paranoid because I'm by myself, so I have to turn the TV up. But I am about to do this clay mask on my face because, oh my God, I know this whole vlog is probably going to be me pointing at this pimple. Y'all, I can't help it. I can't remember the last time i had a legit pimple like this like <sighs> so i'm about to go downstairs and i'm about to um i'm about to do a mask because this is not a look and it's not a vibe y'all i'm back downstairs back at my freaking computer for work I also just sent out the last little set of invitations. We have invited 80 people. 80 people to a housewarming. And some of them are bringing plus ones. And I'm getting anxiety because I'm trying to figure out what 80 people going to be. Outside of that, I just made the menu. Um... I also made a list of stuff that we need to get from either my mom or Darian's mom. Luckily, we don't have to buy a whole lot of stuff because Darian's mom, Darian's mom has parties all the time. Um, and my mom, you know, she used to have cookouts too, but we have to get coolers from both of our parents for like all the different beers and sodas and waters. Um, we have to get the gazebo and get it built in the backyard because my mom bought us one. We have to get a fire pit from Darian's mom because she has two fire pits. <laughs> um, people keep asking me what to bring and I don't really know what to tell them. So I wrote on here what to have friends bring. So the next time I talk to my mama, I can ask her like, hey, people keep asking me what to bring. I don't know what to tell them. Outside of that, I have a list of games that we're going to play, which we're not really going to be playing no games because if you don't know which y'all probably don't know we're having a tailgate we're having a housewarming tailgate oh god i don't even know where the drink menu is i lost it i don't know where the page is in my book but my aunt is a bartender so we also made a custom drink menu but um like I was saying, we're having a housewarming tailgate. Y'all know I am a huge 
Auburn fan. I went to Auburn. That's my alma mater. So they play Darian's favorite school. He's a huge Georgia fan, and so is all of his family. It's a really big football game every single year, and we're hosting that tailgate for our housewoman. Thought it'd be fun, pretty chill, pretty relaxed, and yeah, so that's what we're doing. Anyway, y'all, I think I've been shooting for the last three weeks in the wrong mode. I don't know why my videos weren't clear, but I'm about to be kind of ratchet, and I'm about to make my clay mask because I only literally use a tiny bit. I'm about to make it in this little shot cup so I can throw it away. So this is the apple cider vinegar. I don't use this for nothing but this face. People take shots of that and do other stuff with it. I hate vinegar. I hate the way it smells. Um, I keep this little mini BH Cosmetics brush down here in the kitchen and I use it specifically for my face. So I got the clay. This is the clay that I'm talking about. And it does get kind of messy, so. I just finished putting this mask on my face. Um, I think I'm gonna start using this all the time. This is my first time using like a little red cup like this. These are leftover shot cups from Jamaica. But I really like this because this mask is so thick it can really clog up your sink. So I used to have to put it down the kitchen sink and make sure I do Clorox hot water in the garbage disposal. But now if I just use this little cup, I could just throw it away. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use this cup. Um, I know y'all are gonna sneak peek into our half bath, but that's okay. Cause it's not totally done, but that's where I am right now. I'm downstairs in our half bath and I just put this on. So yeah. Shit, y'all probably like, girl. <laughs> Y'all probably like, girl, we haven't seen the house now since we've been taking so long to do a house tour. It's like ridiculous. I swear y'all, life has just been coming fast, like real, real fast. Y'all probably can't even take me serious <laughs> with this on my face. So yeah, if you are using a brush, and it's something that you want to keep to like use for the next time make sure you rinse it out asap because it'll get too hard and then i'm just going to throw this in the trash um i really want some cereal but this is going to take probably like 10 or 15 minutes to really harden and work uh i usually don't set a timer yeah my lips are chapped I usually don't set a timer. I just keep it on for as long as I can bear because it starts to get really hard and tight and I have to take it off. And usually that's about like 15 minutes for me. Some people keep it on longer than that, but 15 minutes is like good enough for me. So yeah, this is the mask. As y'all can see, I did a really thick layer. Make sure to get that baby. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit downstairs and let Mace finish eating his food. Guess I'll watch a video or check my phone, check my emails or something. And then I'll rinse this off and I'll be ready to eat some cereal, which is gonna be my dinner. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a few. Okay y'all, it's been about 15 minutes. The mask is super tight to the point where I literally can't move my face. You can see that it's cracking and it's time to come off. So I'm about to wash it off 
and hopefully have new skin. <laughs> That's done. That's over and done. That clay mask will make your face really, really dry, like your skin really, really dry. So I'm about to go ahead and get my witch hazel and tone my face. So yeah, let me see what my hair is looking like because I've had this towel on since I washed it. Ooh, it's itching, y'all. This is the, I don't do it on my face. This is the natural texture of this hair. And this is my natural texture. I gotta, don't you hate when y'all see people patting their head? If you get so weird, you already know, this is the goat. So yeah, do my little nighttime. But yeah, y'all, this is super random, but it's just my little real nighttime routine. I am about to get my cool ass in the bed um, because it's a weeknight and I have to go to work tomorrow. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. They at least take these old lady glasses off. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Of course, make sure if you do enjoy my content and you like my channel, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, send me a message on Instagram. I respond and talk to people, interact with people all the time. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys have an amazing day, a prosperous week, a great month, a happy fall, and a blessed fourth quarter. And until next time, I can't even do peace with this, this hand. <laughs> until next time.